What's up, guys? Uh, this is Calvin, and today we got the DJI Avatar drone here. And um, I think some people might crash it and need to replace the duct. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the DJI Avatar duct. Okay, so to replacing the ducts on the Avatar, you will only need a 1.5 hex screwdriver. And uh, first thing, you have to take out all the propeller. And then the next things is take out the optical flow sensor. Uh, it's it's basically two camera and uh, optical flow sensor on the bottom. You have to take this part out. Release these two screws. So the screws on the uh, on this module. It looks like this. Keep the screws in here. And after you release two screws, this module will came out. And uh, it's using one ribbon cable to connect this module with the drone together. Um, and in here, you can just take out the connector, like just peel it off this way. Very simple. And now the module's out. And these two screws comes with the module. Uh, keep them together. The next step is to remove the uh, these two screws. Oh, two screw in here and two screw in here is actually two module on the bottom. Yeah. And, two screw here. and you can take out this part by pulling off on this side and you can hear the pop sound and slowly take it out take it apart here is a clips so make sure you don't break it and now the next uh, the other side Keep the screws together because they are all the same. Right. Same method. Take it out. Be careful, don't break it. And now you can see two antenna in here. Uh, one shows left, one shows right. And then the next step will need to release the uh, screw on the top. Here is one and here is another one. And then you will see there is another screw uh, close like under the battery section. So you don't have to release these two screws and especially you can see one screw that DJI apply some, uh, it looks like glue or something to fill up the screws. I, I think it's for some warranty purpose. So. Uh, you just need to release this one. This one. And this two screw, I will keep it in here. And just remember uh, where the screw you take off, put it in a location and remember it. So you put it back in the same spot. The next step will be the screw in here. It's total four screw to Hold the whole body to the duct. Is one, two, three, four. Sorry, um, it's actually six, including this two top one. So now I'm going to release this two. Four. Uh, now 
two screw in the back is a little bit longer compared to the one in the front. So this is the screw from the front. This is the screw from the back. Uh, I think they are the same size, but the length is different. So I'll put this in the front and this two in the back. And I'll mix them. And then now you see the the, the, the drum main body and then the duct, they are already like, they're already losing, right? But not there yet. You have to take out the antenna, the left and right antenna in order to release, uh, because they are tied up to the body, you want to release these two antenna so you can take the whole thing out. So uh, how to release the antenna? Let's do the right one first. Here, there is a, I think there is a, uh, a paper. So pull this part out and you will see the wire came out very nicely. And then uh, let's go to another side out and then just very careful take out the antenna and keep both antenna up and then now you can start taking the frame apart so it's really tight when you're taking the, uh, the duct uh, to separate the duct to the main body make sure you don't do it um, like just be careful, very very careful, don't break anything inside. And I like to pull one side out first, and then I'm doing another side. And then it's just like wobbling. And then see, make sure the antenna, they are not caught by the duct. If, it, if the antenna got stuck in the duct and then you pull it out, you will, you will damage the antenna. So make sure to, to pull the antenna in the center. And then slowly we go take out the duct. Okay, now the duct is separate. So this is the main body uh, for the avatar. And this is the duct. If you break the duct, you can replace it by yourself very easy. It's actually not that uh, complicated. And now I'm going to put it back. Um, before I put it back, uh, we can take a, a little bit about uh, the interior of the avatar. It's very, very simple. Um, the air unit fright controller is just one block. And then also the ESC, they are just in one block inside this case and then uh, it's running a cable uh, to the I believe this is the the GPS unit are running this wire to the top in here go to this unit this is the GPS unit and then the other one is going to the camera uh, which is uh, this cable is running to the front and then go to the camera And then the power cable. And I believe uh, this is probably the fret controller, the fret controller signal wire, and then power wire to go to the ESC on the bottom. It looks like two board inside. And um, the back, this is the power, the power cable. Uh, it looks like a XD30, but it's kind of like XD30. I think it's probably some DJI standard plug. And then um, also uh, two, I think this two is probably the running signal to uh, communicate with the battery. Because uh, all of DJI drone, they comes with chips in the battery. So you can use um, aftermarket battery on it, maybe. And yeah, that's it going to put it back together so put it back same in here uh, you want to make sure the front and then the rear don't uh, do it in the wrong way so you can see that uh, two screws in the front and uh, two screws in the back the front and the back is it looks different uh, com compared to the according to the, the main body here so uh, insert 
the antenna into these two sections. Insert the antenna first. And then you can start to assemble the frame. Put it back, uh, put the duct back together. It's very, very tight. I think there is some, it's probably uh, some place you have to, uh, have to adjust the, the angle to fit it in. looks like um, I'm doing this angle and I can put it down and then twist it back all right it's back in and um, after I put the duct back into the main drone body I I like to have the screws to hold the duct with the main body together and then uh, I will put the antenna back from screw And make sure when you tie the screws, don't just like go all the way in. Make sure you don't apply too much torque to to break the thread on the screws. And now I'm going to uh, put back the antenna. So you will see the antenna actually have some chase in here on the mold, uh, on the on the on the, uh, the duct. So when you put it back in here, make sure it's running inside the channel and in here especially uh, when, when when you go to up to here you see the antenna make sure the antenna wire it's getting down in in this in this section don't put it on top in here because when you put it on top in here you can close the cover so I would put it inside this gap first and then I will put the antenna in and then also the antenna they are installed it with an angle like this. The antenna they are installed with an angle like this way. And then the wire running down here is um, here's a dab in here so we can put the antenna to fit it in, in here. And then now you can organize the antenna wire into the channel. Okay, and I'm going to close um, one side first. This two part is actually um, looks similar. They probably don't have um, they don't have like left or right. So let me try to just put one back. So fit in this clips first, and then slowly move the back in like this, and you can hear the, the, the clip sound. DJI molding is very very precise, and then you see it's perfectly fit in. And then you don't even have to put the screw right now. I'm going to do this part later. Uh, so same uh, so left and just here. Go one two. One. Okay, so no, the analyzer is on the two. Now I'm to uh, put back the cover. Make sure this paper is folding in. Okay, and then the next step will be the screw.
Should we open. Okay. And then we're going to put back this guy. But before that, um, let's put back the screw on the top first. This two guy. Last, not the last. Uh, uh, the last step for the main body part. Make sure you install the module, um, the connector. Make sure you do it in the right way. Hold on, let me adjust the angle a little bit. Here. Okay, so. Oh. Alright, just clips in, and that's it. And now, in here, the ripping cable, you see, here is one part. You have to make sure you slide that part in this way. Don't, don't leave it outside. So slide it in, and align the screw hole. Just hold the part down, put back the screw. Don't move like, this in the, in the, in the song. Now you're gonna adjust the, the torque the screwdriver to make it tight. Alright, perfect. And now we're going to put back the propeller. This is easy. Make sure when you put back the propeller, if you see a yellow color, a yellow ring in here, you have to use the propeller with the yellow duct. If there is nothing, just use the empty one. Because the uh, for quadcopter, it have a clockwise and counterclockwise um, spinning. So you have to make sure you put the propeller in the wrong way, in the, in the right way, not the wrong way, in the right way. If you put it wrong, it won't take off. Alright, next one. Alright, you like this one. Alright, this is tight. Perfect. And that's it. This is how you. This is how. You, how you replace the, the duct and it's pretty simple uh, but before you do that make sure you take your you have to take your own risk I'm not sure if if you're doing this is gonna violate the warranty or not uh, I don't know yet uh, when I get this quad I, I, I actually got this quad two hours ago and then uh, just figure out probably people will like to see this kind of disassemble video so I uh, kind of rush it to make this video uh, for you guys. Alright, thanks for watching.